let us take up this topic of stress and health what is definition of health health is defined as not mere absence of disease but it is a wellness at the physical mental social and spiritual level but what is important for us to understand is how health problems are very much related to stress and in the present day lifestyle many of these stress related health problems are going on increasing and therefore it is important to understand how we apply the yogic understanding in managing stress in health related problems when we look at all diseases we said health is the first aim of any health professional is to help people to come out of their illness so what are the types of illnesses illness according to yoga is called as vyadhi so all vyadhis are divided under two categories as you have understood earlier adhija vyadhi and anadhija vyadhi adhi janya vyadhi or stress borne diseases or internal imbalance borne diseases and anadhija vyadhi those which are due to outside problems which is not due to adhi which is not due to internal imbalance which is caused by outside things like infection injury trauma etc so coming to the adhija vyadhi there are two sub categories sara adhija vyadhi and samanya adhija vyadhi sara or those which are born with us we could classify many genetic problems under this sara adhija vyadhi but samanya adhija vyadhi is are those which appear because of the lifestyle so the modern ncds or non communicable diseases which are all on the increase starting from diabetes hypertension or disease back pain cancer arthritis etc all these could be classified under samanya adhija vyadhi where the problem begins at the lifestyle in lifestyle there are four things the wrong diet lack of physical activity bad habits like drinking smoking wrong sleeping timings wrong eating timings wrong type of eating etc and mental emotional tension but all these four are traceable to mind therefore mind is the root cause of all these conditions and therefore at one stage we call them as psychosomatic diseases soma means body psyche means mind therefore mind is the root cause of all the ncds that we are seeing today which are all on the increase and it's very unfortunate we now know that india become is going to become the global capital for diabetes it's already having large percentage of people with hypertension and heart disease so in all these conditions which could be major killer diseases like heart disease or cancer or minor life companions like a migraine or a back pain in all these the role is lifestyle therefore let us see how the sages understood about how these chronic stresses can lead to diseases and how the modern science also has come to the conclusion and by understanding the entire mechanism we understood that when we are stressed anger fear tension worry the mind gets activated too much of electrical currents too much of hormones that are released releasing lot of chemicals in the form of stress hormones adrenaline or adrenaline cortisol and cortisol etc which will which will activate the system and when it becomes chronic it can lead to damaging of the entire system and immune system also but how do we understand it in yogic language whenever there is too uncontrolled vega of the mind it starts activating the uncontrolled vega at the prana level too much of persistent long term suppressed fear say for example 
a person has to go through a very very difficult job situation where he is in the managerial level the top level is continuously demanding 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 giving him pressure and lower level he has to manage a team of people where they may not be coming up to his expectation so then what happens mind is all the time tense 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 persistent tension reaction which is causing long standing persistent problem which first starts starts showing up as insomnia he'll start losing sleep oh morning tends morning i could not finish this i could not finish this that person hurt me like this this person insulted me like this how could i cope up with the demanding situation dwelling on the past worrying about the future planning scheming worrying keeps the mind so alert so activated which we understood the first response of the nervous system and there was the fire alarm example the mind becomes hyper alert so i become hyper alert and start losing sleep so the sleep this deprivation slowly start showing up and the day time also in the form of uncontrolled emotion more and more irritability more and more distressful responses indecisiveness and restlessness agitation losing humor losing pleasantness of mind the talk becomes harsh and rough and irritable so these are all still at the mind level so manomaya kosha stage 1 disease has started already but he doesn't perceive any physical symptoms sleeplessness restlessness agitation irritability indecisiveness going on to depression or all this stage one of the uncontrolled excessive speed of the mind which is becoming a habit over a period of time this slowly starts activating persistent long standing pranamaya kosha activity which goes on settling down at the physical level at three levels first at the breathing level so breathing may become fast breathing may become irregular may experiences now and again getting into irregular breathing pattern takes a big breath and then and sometimes he may not be breathing at all or feels like taking a deep breath now and again and observing his own breath he may have stopped breathing for some time so irregular rhythm irregular depth many a times they don't recognize it at all then it slowly percolates into the digestive system very very common stress then digestion in fact it is told that stomach is the mirror of the mind too much of acid gas stakar irritable bowel syndrome constipation goes to the doctor i am getting lot of pain in the stomach burning gas when i eat something the pain goes away lot of dakar constipation irregular bowel the doctor does all the tests does the endoscopy colonoscopy nothing abnormal detected what is the problem he still has symptoms digestive symptoms but it is not showing up as any structural abnormality which kosha pranamaya kosha only so manamaya kosha stage 1 pranamaya kosha digestive irregularity ajirnatvam kujirnatvam ati jirnatvam so irregular digestive system then musculoskeletal system in the muscles the tone is high therefore starts getting lot of pain in the muscles exhaustion pain generalized body aches fibromyalgia generalized body aches generalized body aches does all the tests including emg no abnormality or chronic fatigue tired exhausted i had one lady very beautiful dancer she would sit and talk very nicely but she would say madam you can't understand what i am going through in this chronic fatigue you are you are looking at me as a very smart beautiful girl talking to you no you ask me to lift my hand i feel i am lifting one ton weight so that is the chronic fatigue that can show up as excessive prana activity which is stuck in the musculoskeletal system but when we look at the 
ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ ಆಯ್ತಾರೆ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೇ ಆರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಮಯ ಕೋಶ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಅನ್ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಐದರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಸಮಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಅಪಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಯಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಮುಖ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಮುಖ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಹೈಪರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಿಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರೀದಿಂಗ್ ಅಬ್ ನಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಸಮಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡೈ ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಅಪಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಇರಿಟಬಲ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಸಿಂಡ್ರೋಮ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಪೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ ಯಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಮಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲಾಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟಲ್ ಫೆಟೀಗ್ ಆರ್ ಪೇನ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ನೋ ಅಪ್ ನಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಲಿಟಿ ನೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲೆಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಡೇ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಸಮ್ ವೈಟಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಮೆಡಿಸನ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಫೆಟಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅವೇ ಬಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲಿ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಅಲ್ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಟು ದಿ ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಆಟೋ ಇಮ್ಯೂನ್ ಅಲ್ಸರೇಟಿವ್ ಕೊಲೈಟಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈಬ್ರೋಮಯಾಲ್ಜಿಕ್ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲಮೇಟ್ರಿ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಪೇನ್ಫುಲ್ ನಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೈಟಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲಮೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲಮೇಷನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡೈಟಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲಮೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಒಬೇಸಿಟಿ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ನೌ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಮನೋಮಯ ಕೋಶ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಣ is now focused localized stuck blocking all the channels and producing inflammation in the annamaya kosha which is now visible on investigations on doing all the tests now it is detectable by mri scans blood tests nerve conduction studies or blood chemistry blood glucose high diabetes cholesterol high obesity fat visible as excessive weight excessive bmi etc etc so this is stage 3 of the psychosomatic problem which is all because of stress then left alone it can go on to complications hypertensive now ends up with a paralysis hypertensive ends up with a eye damage or a diabetic ends up with a kidney damage diabetic ends up with a stroke or a gastric problem ruptures and leads to bleed so these are the stage 4 of the speed problem which started in the mind and percolates into the body as disease therefore let us understand how do we handle this situation through yoga therapy what is yoga therapy for samanya adhija vyadhi or stress born psychosomatic diseases is to reduce the speed at all these levels is what we understood as prashamana so reducing the stress through mana prashamana is the first step then we have to reduce the speed at the prana level reduce the speed at the body level therefore we have to evolve techniques to reduce the vega at all levels therefore we design body level practices starting with diet healthy simple vegetarian wholesome diet and cleansing all the stress toxins are stuck in the tissues ayurveda understands this in a very great way through detailed understanding of how the stress toxins or endotoxins or ama gets stuck in the tissues causing inflammation so detoxification to remove all the stress toxins that are accumulating in different parts of the body from wherever it is stuck if it is lot of digestive problem that means lot of stress toxins are damaging the digestive system if it's arthritis lot of stress toxins are damaging the joint tissues so we have to detoxify the whole system 
by doing cleansing techniques which are in ayurveda is called as panchakarma in yoga it is called as kriya stomach cleansing large intestine cleansing um, kapalabhati respiratory system cleansing blood cleansing eye cleansing etc then we have to do the local vega reduction to reduce the local inflammation at the tissue level which we call as asana when we do the yogic special technique in the form of asanas what is it that we are doing we are doing manah prashamana through local tissue vega prashamana so in the parts of the body where the vega is stuck we ask them to put stretch that part if there is a lot of pain in the elbow first stretch get a little pain to help to bring the mind to this painful part and then relax and rest and reduce the speed there so open up the lokra prana and then reduce the speed open the constriction and then slow down the vega these are the two phenomena that have to happen uh, when we do the asanas to help reduction of the local inflammatory process which is damaging the different tissues of the body then we also do prana prashamana or breathing slowing down which helps in generalized pranic activity being brought under control then most important the mind prashamana or the manah prashamana for that meditation we avartana dhyana or cyclic meditation is one such technique which uses the principle of stress management through constriction to be opened up by stimulation followed by slowness which is for the rest stimulus opens up the constriction then slowing down relaxes the part stretch relax using different levels of stimulations we start working on the mind to bring about that deep internal mental rest physical rest emotional rest etc then we do the bhakti yoga where recognize how the mind is stuck in that vega and start doing parama prema bhava when the surrender to the divine comes then the whole emotions get dissolved to come to the state of prashamana and helps in reaching the state of local ananda local anandamaya kosha so you started with stretching the part anamaya kosha became aware of the prana vega prana constriction by giving a stretch followed by awareness then you put your mind to love the damaged tissues love the organs love the cancer cells love your stomach love your paralyzed part love your joint which is giving you pain so through that devotional loving part then you soften the tissues reach the deeply rested experience in that sick part of the body he is reaching the anandamaya kosha in that part which is the real healer so that is how yogic technology makes us not only understand how the health problems occur starting from the mind in the form of uncontrolled speed and constriction but even at the physical level how the speed and constriction can be reversed by using all these techniques is the grandeur of whatever sages taught us as yoga therapy or yoga chikitsa where we start repairing reversing using this reversibility model called pratiprasava so let us understand this and see how health can be promoted prevent diseases and heal problems once they have occurred thank you